how do you track the statistics that you talk about on casts when Innervate is in the opening hand, your win rate is? There's this fun little thing called TrackerBot. If you have TrackerBot, you can plug it into things. I guess I can show real quick. I really like the program, so I don't mind like shamelessly promoting it, I guess. So what you do is you go to TrackerBot. Here, let me show the window capture. You just Google TrackerBot, and then you can, um, you know, download it. So you download TrackerBot, it looks something like this. And then there's this button here that says API, and then you click that, and then there's like a, a username and a, a code. And then you take your username and your code, and you bring it over to uh, this website. You type in deckoptimizer.kuroku.app.com, and then you plug it in, and then choose your class, type in the name of your deck, and against your opponent's class or whatever. And then you can see like the amount of wins you have, the amount of losses, the amount of times you've played the card out of the total number of games, and then your win rate while playing the card, deviation of that, and win percent including unplayed. So this is the win percent when played, and this is the win percent when you've drawn it but not played it sort of thing. Yeah, you get just all this like random ass information about cards and stuff, and then you sift through it and try and analyze it a little bit. Because it's, it's a bit tricky to analyze, right? Because some cards work a lot better than others when you're ahead and such. So then your win percentage while playing that's going to go up a lot. Even though your win percentage while drawing it necessarily doesn't go up a lot. Because it's one of those win more cards and stuff like that. So you have to take those factors into account and try and process the information. So we do all of this stuff. And then at the end of the day you look at your total win rates and matchups. And you, you get those 55% edges. So all of this stuff that we do as professionals in Hearthstone give us about a 5 or 6% edge at the end of the day in a given matchup, which then you extend that over a best of 5, and then you get like, you know, your 10 or 15% edge at the end of the day. Then you rock your 60% win rate, then you play an open cup that requires you to win 7 rounds, and you're not favored to win the tournament still, even if all of your opponents are bad.